Hello, Stephanie Ketchum here, Ketchum Release Poshmark Closet and YouTube channel. I just went to the bins for the first time since early March, uh, mid-March I guess, and I am in my laundry room, so definitely a different view. This is the clothing I got. I did get a couple other things that were not clothing that are for me, so I'm not going to share them. I will just get started. So I think I meant to throw this back in, but it's a Catalina Large swim top, just a tankini, nice coral color. Um, again, all these things are going right into the laundry. This is a loft. I don't normally pick up loft, but the tag is still on it. It's a double zero black dress with some embroidery at the bottom. Nice little wrap style with some buttons all the way down. That doesn't, that needs to get steamed. Um, before I forget, there was this store, Restoration Hardware, that was the store. Restoration Hardware slippers. I remember in 2000s, early 2000s, my mom wanted these for Christmas. It feels like you're stepping, it's gonna sound awful. It feels like you're stepping inside of a rabbit. It's like a dog comforter cushion, but oh, it's so soft. It has a tag, but I don't know, what, I don't remember what the price was. I think they were upwards of 50, so. These might stay in my guest room for when my family visits, or they may get sold. I'm not sure. I got a lot of really cute little kid band tees, which I was excited about. We've got 18-month red hot chili peppers. Pardon my cleavage. This is a Lucky Brand size small. I just thought it was kind of a unique little peacock. Funky little pattern. Um, let's see. I think this was a little kid's. No, it is not. It's extra small American Eagle and has some embroidery. This is motherhood maternity. I always like building up maternity. I would never have paid more than a dollar for this. Um, it's just a thermal one. And this is another band T ACDC. Pretty sweet. And that one I think is bigger. No, they're all 18 months. 41 Hawthorne. I actually forgot to check it for stains. The armpits look great. That's a size medium, so it's a polka dot shirt by 41 Hawthorne. This, I think, is real. I need to have it authenticated. But it says Gucci. I need to see if there's any other markings. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. I think it's a real Gucci. And it is just a really nice scarf. So I do have a couple things I wanted to send to the real real. And this may have just been added to that pile. Mm -hmm. It's really soft. I'm not gonna wash that. It doesn't stink. Um, that's for my neighbor. A little boy, we play in their sandbox. Uh, this is little kids, size six. I've been making bundles of little girls stuff and I just don't have bottoms. So that's where that came from. This is a Cat and Jack 2T. This is for my daughter. It's like a tunic dress and has pockets. So I do shop for myself too. These are John Deere little kids overalls. There's little John Deere on the back. Size <clears throat> nine, six, size six. So really adorable. Um, this is my kid bin. This is size 90 at Hannah Anderson. So they are European sizes and I do have to look them up. Um, oh, it has paint on it. Okay, this will just be a paint shirt. I should have turned it not inside out to begin with. That'll just be an art shirt and that's okay. Um, fuzzy pajamas, you just gotta have those when you have kids. Some pants. We do a lot of dresses with prints, so we like solid um, pants. This is not your daughter's jeans. This is for my mom. Size medium. It's her size. It's blue, three-quarter length. Really cute. Uh, Old Navy medium. This is for me. I don't really like selling those brands. Old Navy and stuff, they don't make much. These are. This is a Reebok hoodie. I thought it would be cute to sell, maybe, in a bundle. This is Pixley, which is Stitch Fix brand. Cute little dress. It's got like ruffle. 
looks like two pieces. This is for my daughter. I think these are just Old Navy, but little boots. Kids' shoes are stupid expensive. 2T, again for my daughter. Just says big dreams, no drama. <laughs> Another treasure. I think these are real. I have to plug them in. But these are Beats by Dre. I've never actually seen them, except on other people's hauls. I'm not going to put them on my heads right now, but I have this nice leather, I think it's a leather bag it came with. Okay, how do you, I don't know how to fold them back down. I don't want to break them. Oh, they're size large, I didn't know they were sizes. I'm going to just gently put that on my kitchen counter. And figure out how they fold down with a YouTube video later. This needs to be cleaned or potentially just thrown out. The inside does look like someone spilled coffee. But it's a Lululemon bag. <clears throat> I don't sell them separate. That's kind of silly to do. But if someone gets a pair of leggings, I will give that to them. These are just Reebok crapped leggings. Size extra small. I'm going to probably give them to my sister. She's coming to visit soon. This is, I don't know, just a t-shirt. It's a men's medium. Just Jurassic Park. These are, I think, Hurley. I think I have the exact same pair already in my closet. These are a different size. These are 34. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this I did buy in the retail side, but it was half off. So it was $2.50. So it's a size medium maternity dress. It has like a wrap style with a nice little ribbon. It's orange. It's very lightweight. Um, I might wear it when I get pregnant again, if that all works out. Who knows? These are Hollister, but they're a size 9, which I don't usually see the bigger sizes. I do have a run to Plato's Closet this week. So, I'll let them see if they want it before I do anything with it. I'm gonna have to do a little laundry today. These are Citizens of Humanity. Jeans, size 29. Hmm. I wonder if this would be helpful. Maybe not at all. So there's no, there's like one heel mark, but that might be by design. I don't know. Um, this I only picked up because the tag was still on it and it's $37. Size medium, Old Navy. It's just a plain oatmeal colored, high-low top. This bad boy, I believe, is for me to keep. It's just a size medium gap. Designed and crafted. So it's just like a very light, because it's white, it's not going in the wash with everything else. A pink hoodie, size small. Just a classic pink Graphic is not um, cracking, so that's good. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is W5. I don't really know that brand. It's size extra large. I just thought it was a cute, lightweight, twisted front pattern. This is Hollister, size extra small. I just thought it was kind of a cute cardigan. Has that nice little pattern on the back. So there's that. Let's see, this was another size medium. Gap t-shirt. So these are more for me. I like these basic ones, or I do sell them in bundles of the same size. Um, yeah, this is Old Navy. I only got a couple Old Navy things just because they looked fun. It's in a sheet bonnet. I just thought that was kind of adorable. Size medium, if I didn't say that. Let's see, is this another Gap? No, this is soft and sexy size medium, American Eagle. I do have a lot of those in my store already. And this is an American Eagle purse. Which I'm not big on American Eagle, but it does have its following. And not everyone can get to the mall. And this is pretty trendy. It does look like it does have a little rip. Mm. Let me see why it was in here. Yeah. That might be a garage sale thing. That might be ruined. Bummer. This is really cute. 
This is an ACDC. I guess you could match your child. ACDC, but it's a bodysuit and it's gray. It's a size medium. And it is polyester spandex, so stretchy, soft, and buttery soft. And this is Ergo, which is a baby carrier, but this is the backpack diaper bag. Ergo Baby Organic. I think it's their older label. It's not gone through all the pockets yet. Maybe there's billions of dollars in here. Maybe there's a dirty diaper. Or someone's contacts. There's someone's contacts. And that is it. So this definitely needs to be washed. It's kind of disgusting. But, ooh, what's this back? Ooh, a secret pocket. Or you carry the baby in it? I don't know. I have to look this up. It needs to be washed. I have one more bag. Let's see. This is Soft and Sexy Tank. Again, I just have so many of it, it makes sense to have more of it. I don't know if that makes sense. This is Cold Shoulder. Also Soft and Sexy. There we go. It's got that fun tie-dye look to it. Um, these really need to be clean, but these are Birkenstocks. It says Birks right there. I don't know if you can see that. They are a size, it says L9, M7, so men's 7, ladies 9. Perfect. Just really need to be wiped down, really with probably soap and water, to be honest. This was super soft. I don't think it's a, uh, it's a brand I don't know, so maybe it's a good brand. Maybe it's Walmart. Free to be, the number two, the letter B. And it is just so soft. I really don't think it was ever worn. It's Sherpa lining. Oh my gosh, it's really soft. Um, this is part of a costume. These are Cole Haan shoes. They just are really, really great condition. Again, I don't, some things I don't know if they were ever worn. Oh wait, this is a really cute dress. I didn't remember the name. Skies are blue, size large. It's a shift dress. I believe is what you call it when it doesn't like go in. It just kind of moves with you. Got a few more maternity items. I do get excited about maternity just because people are always looking for it and don't want to pay full price because you're wearing it for less than nine months and it's seasonal. So next time you get pregnant might not be summer. So this is a glow, which is I think a target maternity dress. This does have a nice ribbon on the around the back that you can tie front, back, side, however you want. This is another blue dress by Motherhood Maternity Size Small. Again, another tie ribbon, little twisted knot top. And that's like more of a maxi. Jack Willis, just like a, like a nice plain t-shirt. Okay, this is the costume. Hee hee. Ooh, and they used patchouli in their house. Ooh, I don't like that smell. And this is the cape that goes with it. So this is a really adorable kid's costume. Um, this, I don't even think it was a good brand. I just thought it was a really cute top. It's so soft. And the brand's been ripped out, so we'll never know anyways. Unless I got lucky. No, there's no fabric tag either. That's okay. It's really soft. It's probably rayon, I would guess primary colors, say some fun. This is definitely a burnout tee. It's Lucky brand, size medium. And I don't know what that says. It's not in English, but it's a skeleton smoking a cigar, I think. Let's see, I think about three more items. This is mine. That's the brand, mine but it's like a little button up type of top. So then you would button it here. Ooh, I think it's definitely a small, so that's not gonna work for me. And then you would just button it there. So it's got like a little sheerness to it. It's like a dark oatmeal tan camel color. Ooh, are we missing a button? You're missing a button, dang it. Right, well, that might be mine. Or a garage sale. Nike tee, it's a kid's one. It's a size six, I think. So I have a few size six. K 
kids stuff isn't worth it to sell on its own. And this is a brewery, just stone brewery, established 1996. Size small. I think that's a men's. And then that's kind of all I got um, in terms of clothing. Anything else I got is toys for my daughter, arts and crafts. Um, little tin letter E. My daughter's name's Evelyn. So there's that. I got finger paint, a birdhouse, guitar strings. Not a birdhouse, a bird feeder. And an adorable little measuring tape. So that's my haul from my first trip back to the bins. It's definitely done differently. They are opened a little later than they used to be. They're open to eight and they put out new bins and then you shop only 40 people at a time, one person per blue bin, which I actually liked because if anyone came near, I would just say, excuse me, one person per bin and they would usually walk away politely and wait their turn. And that's just how it worked. Um, and you didn't feel rude saying that either. I had one guy say, respect my space, because I didn't realize I was too close to him, which is fine. I did respect his space and backed away. Um, and then at 9.30, they had everyone clear out, pay for your things, leave, and then they were closed till 11. Get in line again, 40 people at a time, let everyone dig through the fresh new bins they brought out, 12.30, kick everyone out again until 1 um, or 2. I actually don't remember. I did take a picture of it. And the new rules, this is the New Hampshire Goodwill bins, which is pay by the pound. They also have a retail store next door, which was normal hours. Um, any questions about how the bins work? Give me a call, or sorry, <laughs> comment and I'll respond. Don't give me a call. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed my haul.